It's the Mobile Boy Shigum here. Sorry for not putting a video. I know I've been inactive for a week, and sadly, I'm gonna be out for the next week or so. That's only because I've just been super busy, really, um, pretty lately. Um, yeah, and I'm also thinking of, you know, cool video ideas, so if you got any video ideas, drop them down below. Um, I always read the comments and try to respond. Anyways, if you didn't read the title, of course, we're going over investing tips. Now, this guy already seems to be working on my investment. Basically, I don't have screenshots, but I'm gonna have to take my word. I bit snipe two of these guys. One for, okay, see, like, this would be a good price because I bit snipe two of them, one for 800k and one for a mil. So I have around two mil of this dude on my bench. And I bought him when he was only 80 overall. So people were kind of like, eh, he's only 80 overall. But. The reason I picked him was two things. One, he's a kick returner, so that means he's valuable than like running back or receiver, because you know there's a million of them. Second all, he he's on the Rams, and the Rams are actually doing pretty good this year, meaning they're probably gonna get at least one or two more wins. Now, um, I don't know if this is how it's gonna work, but if he gets to plus eight overall, I'm not sure if that classifies him in the 88 kick returner tier. Um, I'm not really too sure if he doesn't I'm still gonna sell him for two mil and that's still gonna be double my profit making me two million coins for just letting these guys sit on the bench which is gonna be good but if he can if he gets into the 80 um eight overall um kick returner bracket let's see what 88 overall kick returners are going for um if there's any up there's not even any up so this guy could be worth the max, which is 4 mil, I think, for 88 overall bracket, 90 overall bracket. I don't know. I just, I mean, the Rams, they, I mean, I, I think their schedule is definitely winnable. They could win three out of four. That's what I'm hoping, at least. They definitely beat the Eagles, which is a good sign that they could want to win a lot. So I would definitely pick that guy, that player up guy. I'm actually not sure about the other player ups. Go watch like Sabretooth vids or just any other, the bigger YouTubes. If you want a more general idea of the player up thing, but I'm telling you, this guy is what you want to invest in. Anyways, the video I recorded did get corrupted. However, what I said was don't wait until the last second to solve um, all your players. Cause you may think that the price is just going to keep going up and up and up and up and then it's going to collapse. And then, you know, so, you know, you might be thinking, Hey, I'll just like, you know, I wake up early anyways because I got like activities or whatever because I know whatever. So basically, um, you might think, hey, let me just sell them off for like 100K or whatever. That's not how it works. Often what I see, um, they seem to plateau at about, they seem to go up to about at around 12 hours. They stay there for like maybe two hours and then they go down. Why they're going down is because everybody's thinking the same thing. They're all thinking, let me just post them right now. That's when the price is high. Once there's more gold players, the price slowly goes down. And by the end of the promo, like the hour before, you can get these guys for like 20K. So that's also a, diff a, a little tip if you're thinking about finishing sets. Obviously, it's not going to apply to Thanksgiving because I'm releasing this video too late. But anyways, that's what I did. I bought all these guys for like 22, 25K ish. I waited until a couple hours ago and I sold them all for... 33k i just want to ensure that they were sold because you have to keep these up for a minimum of four hours so if no one decides to buy them it's gonna be four hours later and at that point the price is gonna be like 31k so i'd rather take the one or two k loss now than take this five or six k loss later anyways that's how i made 15k times what 20 ish so i was like an easy 350 400k so i mean yeah that was like an easy 350 400k not too much you know difficulty there uh, anyways, I'm not really sure, um, uh, any other tips I have. I guess just, um, this tournament, rewards don't really surprise me. I'm not really going for the tournament master just because, I don't know, I feel like I can get better cards anyways, and I think there's other rewards I'd be interested in. Not this week, though. I'm probably just gonna go for this 150 cash. I'm really trying to get this 10,000 cash to get a bundle. Um, uh, I'm waiting for, like, a Christmas bundle, maybe? Or I heard like last year there was bundles where the topper was like an ultimate legend, so that'd be kind of cool. I really could, uh, wish I could open it for one of, for uh, one of them for you guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you like this video and you want to see more videos like it. If you um do want to see more investing tips videos, you know tricks and tips, comment down below. Go subscribe. Go like. I'll have other content up. Hopefully, just bear with me. My school's deciding to have finals before winter break. Which, it's a new thing. I don't know how it is for your school. So, I probably won't be able to upload a vid next week. But after that, I got 
two weeks of winter break and I'll be able to upload a bunch of Christmas and cool content videos. I also have a vlog. Uh, I'm not, I'm not how good it's gonna be, but it was when uh, my school we took a field trip to a Mavs game, and I kind of vlogged, so it's kind of cool. Anyways, hopefully I can bring that up. Um, so yeah, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next video.